Hello! Uh, this is a tutorial on how to set up The Simpsons Hit and Run uh, with live split and auto splitting on Linux using Wine. So, first thing you want to do, obviously, is set up a, a prefix for The Simpsons Hit and Run. Um, there are two ways to do this. There's the manual way, and then there's the Arch Linux way. So I'll go through the manual way first. So we'll create a new prefix. We'll go wine prefix equals home slash char speedrun. Make the wine arch win32. And yeah, we'll just uh, run explorer here to create the prefix to begin with. And there it is. So, completely fresh prefix. Now, uh, I'm not going to go over installing The Simpsons Hit and Run or obtaining The Simpsons Hit and Run. Um, you're on your own there, but uh, here, it should be here. It's not here. Oh, there we go. Here's a shower installation. <laughs> so, what we would do is copy that into the prefix. So, shower speedrun. Doesn't really matter where you put it, so there you go. And it's in. Next thing you want to do is install Lucas's Simpsons Hit and Run mod launcher. So, We'll uh, not go for this yet. There we go. Downloads. And there it is. So we'll download it. Open that. And put that there as well. So now. We've got Char and we've got the mod launcher. So we'll run the mod launcher. Skip authentication. Now this is already detecting my mods in my uh, my documents folder. Let's see if it it might have remembered where the game is. It doesn't. Okay, so for this we'll just go browse, go to char and simpsons.exe. Cool. So before we launch the game, we are going to install .NET 4.6. So wine tricks dash dash force dot net four six one and this might take a little while but let it do its thing. There we go, finish and now it's gonna install another version of .NET and it's going to keep doing that until we're finally at Alright, so now we're installing .NET 4.6.1. Um, once we've done this, next thing we're going to want to do is install DXVK to the prefix. This will uh, allow you to run the game in DirectX 9 mode and it will translate DirectX 9 to Vulkan. So that should uh, help you get better performance with the game.
and we're done. Right, so now, wine tricks, DX, VK, oh. DX, VK, there we go. And it's done. Right. So now we can get life split. So there we go. Downloads. Save the file. And there it is. So we'll just, uh, again, it doesn't matter where you put it, and we'll extract everything into there. Cool. So, unless I have forgotten something, we should now be able to start a speedrun. So, we'll launch live split first. Here we are. Now we'll go into edit layout. So we want uh, sub splits. What else do we need? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but if we go into edit splits, there should be a huge list of games here. So we just want to go the Simpsons. Hit and run, there it is. Select that, run category. All story missions. Okay. And now we want to, right here it says auto splitting and load remover are available. Activate. Now, if we go into settings, we'll have this menu. So, depending on what your category is, you want to choose different things, but we're doing all story missions, so we'll tick all of the missions, don't tick the 100% stuff unless you're doing 100%. And there we go, that should be all set up now. So last thing to do is launch the mod launcher and then launch the game. Now, uh, I forgot to do something there, bear with me. Yeah, I want to launch the game. <laughs> yeah, we forgot to do the settings, so we want borderless uh, full screen mode. Windowed. And why not just up the resolution? There we go. Now, you can see this window down here. It's spamming all of these fix me's about enum process module sex blah 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 blah. Uh, I'm not 100% certain on this, but I believe what that is related to live split reading the game's memory. So that is a good sign that the auto splitting should work. So no Simpsons and run games for Okay. Um, Take my word for it, if you load from a tutorial save, it will work, but yeah, okay, I hit new game there, and it started the timer. So this is working perfectly fine. Okay, we're in. Uh, so I want to disable tutorials. Uh, there we go. So yeah, let's save the game here. And quit to main menu. And we want to, uh, oh yeah, let's enable global hotkeys and reset the timer. So, load the save. Uh, 
and resume game and there you go it automatically starts the timer at 40 odd seconds now i believe this is showing real time so if we go into edit layout change the timer timing method game time yeah that looks like it took a bit of time off there so we'll reset it again resume game yeah, and there you can see the timer is stopped whilst it's loading the game. And there we go. Um, now, I'm going to fumble about whilst I uh, try and get the actual subsplits to show. Uh, I'm kind of new to live split and speedrunning, so I'm not necessarily an expert with all this, but... Uh, oh yeah, kind of important. Um, you don't want decimals, because that can uh, make live split lag a little bit, which you obviously don't want. So, wherever you see time accuracy, Put it on seconds. And wherever you see timing method set the game time. Still don't know why it isn't showing the splits. Uh, it should be. Oh, I know why it's not showing the splits. Um because I've not added splits, so... Uh, how do I do that again? Yes, open splits from speedrun.com. Here we go, that's the bit I was missing. Here we go, The Simpsons Hit and Run, all story missions. Am I doing this right? I'm not even sure. Uh, aha! There we go. Yeah, awesome. Right, so now <laughs> we resume game. There we go. That's better. Uh, oh god, what are the default controls again? Um <laughs> character controls what is action left mouse button Oh that's horrible Hey I found my lost nachos eat my dust Space bars reset? That is disgusting. Truly disgusting. Oh yes. Crystal eggs and the crash. Have to go to the bathroom real bad. Hey, Congratulations. But yeah, as you'll see here. Go back home and talk to mom to start the next Auto split working. Beautifully. Awesome. So, that is the manual way. Now, to show you the better way, if you're using the superior Linux distribution. And that is using uh, Coding Koopa's Linux launcher for the Lucas Simpsons Hit and Run Mod Launcher. The launcher launcher for Linux. Um, right, let's close out all of this. So, here is Coding Koopa's Le Lucas Simpsons Hit and Run, Run Mod Launcher Linux Launcher. That's a fucking mouthful. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this repo doesn't actually contain the script. Um, it says due to differences between Linux distributions, no installers providing this repo. Instead, it's encouraged to use a package specifically for your distribution. There are current distributions available and it shows just Arch Linux. So 
If you are using Arch Linux, then this script is available on the AUR. So, AUR Lucas. And there it is. So you install that on the AUR. And you run this. Now, it's going to set up a prefix for you. Failed to find shard directory. Uh, that's normal if you're launching it for the first time. And then it launches the mod launcher. Skip. And then, you know, same thing again. Open the launcher settings point it towards Char. But, here's the problem! Uh, well, there's two problems actually. First of all, the script is a little bit out of date. So, this is going to install version 1.25 of the mod launcher. Uh, I think we're on 1.26 now. Um, it's perfectly fine for you to just replace the launcher. Uh, so, it is in USR lib Lucas's hit and run mod launcher and so here we are. There's the mod launcher exe and then there's some DLLs in here. So all you want to do is open up your terminal because you'll need uh, root privileges to modify files in this directory. But yeah, you just want to replace this exe with this exe making sure it's named the same thing. and replace the DLLs as well. That's all you need to do and then you're on 1.26 instead of 1.25. Now, uh, this script will install .NET for you but it will install an older version. So, you want to update it to 4.6.1 uh, and it's the same method that we did before. Only difference being the location of the prefix. So, it is in dot your home folder dot local share wine prefixes lucas's simpson hit run mod launcher this is the prefix that i was using before i renamed it so that i could show you what it looks like fresh so it's in here so you just wine prefix equals home local share line prefixes looks at Simpson hit and run mod launcher wine arch equals win 32 and wine tricks dash dash force dot net four six one I'm not gonna go through that again but that would be the command you type in let it do its thing and then you install live split in exactly the same way um yeah and that's pretty much it that th this has been a, a pretty scuffed tutorial to be honest but um <laughs> yeah that's that's how it's done and uh, it should work fine most of the time um one last thing i'll mention sometimes the uh, the live split will crash and that's very very annoying and I don't know how to prevent that um, just be wary of that uh, and also sometimes the auto splitter might miss a split um, and I've found that uh, putting your CPU on performance mode really really helps with this I think because you know you've got the game running you've got live split running and then you've got live split reading the game memory in real time it uses up quite a lot of resources and if your cpu is in like power save or conservative mode uh that can make the auto splitter maybe miss the point at which it needs to split that that's my working theory based on absolutely nothing but uh I have found, yeah, if you just do sudo cpu power, uh, hold on, I can just do that, yeah, sudo cpu power frequency set dash dash governor performance, that'll pin your clock speeds at max, and 
no missed splits. So yeah, that about does it for this tutorial. Um, yeah, enjoy speedrunning Char on Linux.